back for part five of the collection. Well, it would be part... F Sorry, part four, my mistakes, as I combined the loose discs with the Dreamcast lot. Sorry about that, folks. Now we are on to my boxed um, Jenny collection. Mega Drive, whatever you want to call it. Most of these are complete. They come from different sources. So, here we go. First off, I got this a very, very long time ago. I actually found it a skip. Don't know how it survived being crushed, but it is... Toe Jam and Earl in Panic on Funkatron. There's the front of it. Sorry about that. It's in... Okay, Nick, it still has the tab on it, which is a bit of a surprise, really. Most of them are snapped. Inside. Got these reminders of the old VHS. Oh, don't, don't let you see that. That shouldn't be there. No manual, I'm afraid, but the cartridge is in very nice shape. So the contacts for being in the skip. And that's the first one. Told you I'm an panic on Funkatron. Right, don't need, I want not showing you this because this contains some stuff that I do not wish, wish to be seen. Sorry about that. Okay, next one. Everyone's favourite. Favourite, Sonic the Hedgehog, day one, bye. Well, more like it came in the console, so... I don't know if that's classed as day one, bye. If it is, fair enough. This is the back. Everyone's probably seen this before in loose and in boxed form. But this is part of a three-part little set that I bought that is... Just give me a second. Complete. Oh, never mind, sorry. It wasn't complete. My bad. There you go. Everyone's the well, most well-known cartridge. There we go. I have to do this at an angle to show the contacts. Oh, it's the light. No mind, sorry. There's the contacts. Not sure if you can see them very well. Sorry. I'm doing this on my phone as, this, as normal. But, oh well. I don't have any pro recording software like some of the other YouTubers out there. Shout out to OK Chief and UK Retro Gaming Addict for inspiring me to do this. Thank you very much, fellas. And also Business17. He was a big inspiration to me. That got me started in doing this. So big shout out to those three YouTubers. Links will be in the description. If I can find them, pro get them to properly work. Okay, next one. Another day one by, well, when the, when the second version release came out, I th but when the second model Jenny came out, I think. Same, you've probably all seen this before, but it's new to me, so I will show it off. Got these reminders of VHS cases. Again, no manual. But the guy this originally who sold this to the store I bought it from really took good care of his games. And I mean really good care. Look, barely any damage at all. Which is wonderful. And there you go. Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Now I just need Sonic the Hedgehog 3 and Sonic 3 and Knuckles. And Sonic Spinball. Which I do believe I saw in Business 17's video. So I know they exist, which is good news for me if I ever decide to go after them, which I probably will do. Okay, let me just... Now here's a bit of a strange one. I never even knew this existed, so I bought it. Altered Beast on the Mega Drive. Never seen this, never even heard of it. But it is a two-player game, which is kind of odd. But, oh well. Now here's a little something special. Do you recognise that label? Yes, this this was so well kept, the original Sega sticker is still on the box. You're asking what that is? Yes, it's the original tape too. 
this one is big. It's such good nick that this, if I'm if I remember correctly, is even still got its wrapping for the cartridge. Now that is something rare. I believe that's the wrapping for the cartridge. If not, please let me know. It is complete. Uh, there's a set of the label. Oh, sorry. I don't remember going away. There's that. The manual, I'm afraid, is not in such good of a shape. But I'm surprised it's still it's still here. Oh, it's, oh, it's the sleep. There you go. It's, there's the manual, just flicking through real fast. God, manuals feel felt weird back then. I guess that's what they were made to be, to be honest. And that was Altered Beast. In very good shape, apart from the manual. But well, I'm glad it's there, because otherwise I won't know how to play it. Oh, there, just took that in, would be better. And there we go. There's that one. Now, a very, very big shout out to my friend Robert, who is in my class at college. He found out because I brought in some retro games during one of the lessons I was in at night school. Yes, I do do night school because I'm a part-time student. But I like it. It's quiet and it's more... It's, but back on track. He heard that I he heard that I had it had been collecting for a while, and he told me he had some spare games, but that he just wanted to give me. I didn't pay anything for these, but the only problem was it did the Jenny the Jenny was destroyed because it was left in the shed and the water got to it and rusted it completely to bits. So unfortunately, I lost out on the chance to have a real working Jenny system. But big thanks to the dude anyway. Thank you, Robert. Big props to you. Victory. Okay, here we go. And then this is no particular order. Here is a boxed Mega Games 1 with... If you can just make that out. Sellotape across the cover because it got wrecked. And on the back, detailing... I believe that's 1, 2 and 3. I am not sure. But this is kind of like what you see nowadays. Multi game cards not new but first for me the tab's been broken off well what do you expect it was sat in a shed for a few years so nothing new there let's just open it <sighs> give me a second guys sorry wow <laughs> this is weird there we go no manual i'm afraid three of the games you gave me didn't have the manual but the last one did still big props to you Robert. Here's the cartridge. Despite being in a shed full of rain, it's in very good shape. I'm looking forward to playing it, seeing what it's like. The games on it are Super Hang On and World Cup Italian 90. Sorry about that again, folks. My nose is a bit stuffy today. Okay, on to the next one. This one was difficult to open, by the way. Oh, yeah. Here's one that just looks weird. It's called the California Games. I guess it's like um, a, like a tournament based thing. Yeah, look, the the skating. Sorry for the blur because it's crap. Surfing, BMXing by the looks of it in the desert, and put put golf by the looks of it or something. Oh, no, never mind. It's actually called a footbag. Okay, that's just a very weird name. This one has its tab. I don't ever be needing it, but whatever. Oh, this one's easy to open. Now, this one, unfortunately, has suffered some damage. Either sun... F it looks like it's suffered some bit of water damage because it's peeling a little bit in the corners. But other than that, it's in pretty good shape for its age. So, there you go. California Games. A very old tournament style type thing. There you go. Back in. 
next on next on the list is very very funny because it this one is called Cheeky Cheeky Boys. If you get that reference, God, you had a good you had a good time listening to that song. If you get the reference, this one sadly has been warped over time and has some damage, but still in relatively good shape. It looks... I'm not exactly sure what this game is supposed to be like. Basically, by what's been said, it's just basically a dude kicking the crap out of a clown. Okay. This one also has its sticker, but this one's in a bit of a worse shape than the one I showed earlier. This is also from Rob, by the way. Not the other one was bought. There you go. The cartridge has some major damage there. I can actually feel the underside. It's a shame, but... Oh, well. The rest of the label seems to be okay. So, that was it. Cheeky, cheeky boys. If you get that reference, more power to you. It, it, it was a great song of its time. Even though they don't perform anymore, which kind of sucks. But, whatever. And now to the last game, which I am genuinely looking forward to playing. Sp Spider-Man on the Jenny. I'm still calling it Jenny, just leave me to it. People say I'm a secret American anyway, so what's the difference? Here we go. There's Spider-Man and all his 16-bit glory. Now this one is from Rob and it's complete. Missing its tab though, but oh well. What was that? I almost left it open last time I looked inside. There's the manual. Which is in good shape, but a bit of dog ear in here and there. <laughs> God damn it, my ear. Fix yourself. And here's the cartridge. This one has a slight indent in it, but um, yeah, you can see it due to the light reflection. Just here. Yeah. Sorry about that. Yeah, just there. But I don't know if that's part of the cartridge or the sticker just being indented. Whatever. And then, and this is the whole cartridge again. One more time, thanks to Rob. Now he had a funny story to tell on this one. He never could complete it. No matter how many times he tried, he couldn't complete it. Excuse me. Apparently, the last level was a bitch. Sorry for swearing there, folks, but it. Pretty much those were his words. It was a bitch. So I look forward to seeing what what he was on about. Now that's that's part of the that's the finished part of the Mega Drive games. I do have one more box Sega game. This one's a bit of a rarity. Well, when I say rarity, I mean round where I am because you don't see them often enough. And it is a full box. Not the cardboard style, but plastic. Sega Saturn. My very first one. And this is Need for Speed on the, on the Sega Saturn. Obviously, because I just said that. And apparently it was from probably a game, but in France. Because it's in French. No, I have no idea if it's from a game or not, but whatever. Has its tab. This is the... Sorry, I've put it down be easy. There we go. Funnily enough, I spotted this game just about two weeks ago. I got this two weeks ago, by the way, folks. Sorry if I'm not saying foot. I need to sort it out because, look, it's not fully positioned right. I got this in the middle of the storm that we had two weeks ago. And it was not pretty. Especially for the Sunderland fans who were probably pissed off that the game was cancelled. I still feel for them. Don't know whether they're going to reschedule the match. But anyway, let's get on with the review. Okay, let's open her up. Yeah, this is more like a VHS. Sorry about this, folks. You can see my hands. There we go. There's the full-sized manual. In quite good shape. Well, I say good shape, but look at that. Let's open it up. It looks like it's been water damaged over the years, but 
There's the manual, folks. Need to look at it. Now, I'm not sure if this is either a single disc or a dual disc set. So for now, I'm just going to say it's complete in its single disc form. So if you, if anyone could tell me the information, I'll be gladly, I will be glad to hear it. Thank you very much. There you go. The set, the disc does need a clean. It looks like it's been dragged along some dust, so I will be taking care of that eventually. The scratches don't seem that bad. It just needs a good clean. So next time, when I finally get my own Sega Saturn, I will be gladly playing it. And that's it, folks. Mainly Jenny games and one Sega Saturn. Now I'm moving on to my loose cart section, which will be part five, which will be actually part five. Yes, it will. So I will see you very, very shortly.